to rhyme when it rains, and you can't go out to play because of water all around us. Rainwater fills up many ponds and lakes and rivers in rainy season, and you can see many beautiful waterfalls. Friends, have you ever wondered how the rain comes from the sky? With so much of rain every year, why the water is not getting over in the sky? Yes, friends. Today we are going to learn all about the most precious gift that God has given us. That is water. Friends, we see water all around us, in rivers, in ponds, in the sea or ocean. Also, we see water everywhere when it rains. Do you know, friends? Water is found on Earth in three forms. Liquid, gas, and solid. Water is the liquid form. Water vapor is the gas form of water. And can you tell me what is the solid form of water? Yes, it is ice. During the summer. The sun's heat sucks up the water from the rivers, ponds, seas, or oceans. The water starts going upward into the sky like this. It is called evaporation. What is it called? It is called evaporation. When it evaporates, you can see this water because the water has turned into something that we can't see. It is called water vapor. What is it called? It's water vapor. So this water vapor slowly, slowly goes up and rises higher and higher into the sky. When it goes up, a cold wind comes, and then the water vapor gets very, very cold. This turns. The water vapor into tiny droplets. Many water droplets join together with other gases and dust particles to form a cloud. Yes, friends, when we draw or paint clouds. In our paintings, just remember how the cloud is formed from the water. This process is called condensation. What is it called? Condensation. With many more water droplets joined together. The clouds becomes bigger and bigger, heavier and heavier. You can say a cloud is very heavy when it looks darker and gray in color. These gray clouds are just full of water. Now, when these clouds are very heavy like this, can you see, friends? Then the clouds can't take the weight of the water in them, 
so they burst, and water comes out as rain. So, friends, when the cloud gets burst, and the water in it comes out as rain, it is called precipitation. What is it called? Yes, precipitation. Now this whole process happens over and over again. This whole process is called a water cycle. A water cycle. Friends, why is it called a cycle? Because water makes a journey from the surface of the earth up into the sky, which we call evaporation, and then it turns into a cloud, which we call it as condensation, and comes back down as rain. Into the earth, which we call it precipitation, and it continues over and over. It never ends. See, friends, doesn't it look like a cycle? It is, right? Now that you know all about the wonderful water cycle, I have a lovely water cycle poem just for you. Do you like to hear it? The water cycle, a poem about the water and its amazing journey from the surface of the earth to the sky and back down again. Do you want to hear it? Let's start then. The water cycle. The sunlight heats the water in oceans, lakes, and streams. The water turns to vapor and rises just like steam. The steam is made of droplets that float into the sky. The droplets stick together when air turns cold up high. The droplets come together to make a cloud you see. And when the cloud gets heavy, it rains on you and me. The water cycle starts again. You know it never ends. Our earth. Needs lots of water, and so do you, my friends. Did you all like my poem? I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, friends. See you all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe or like or share my channel. Bye, bye, friends.